Hello and welcome to another 2017-2018 individual Blackburn Rovers player review. In each one of these special one-off videos, we're going to look back on each one of the senior players who pulled on the mighty blue and white this season. We're going to scrutinise their effort and grade their overall performance. And in this episode, we're going to review Corey Evans. <laughs> Not everyone's cup of tea this lad, but his skills and abilities were clear to see when he was on the pitch. Like Smallwood, his work often gets overlooked, but he clearly knows how to be the donkey within a starting eleven. It's players like Evans and Smallwood that make players like Dak Armstrong look good. They create the space, dig them out of trouble, close down the opposition, while other players track back. Evans is a bit of a Marmite player, you either like him or you don't. I'm still pretty much on the fence with this lad. I see his role at a club, but feel we could use him to generate a decent return if we sell him. However, at championship level, he could be more of a useful player to have in the squad in relation to Smallwood, so a very tricky position to be in with Evans. As for this season, Evans was used rotationally with Bennett and Whittingham amongst others alongside Smallwood. Smallwood was an ever-present at the heart of midfield as Moby tried to find a solid partner to accommodate the hard-hitting Smallwood. Evans, who is much more skillful on the ball than Smallwood, had no case season this year without setting the place on fire or grabbing any spotlight. His contribution was key to our success and like other players, playing at a higher level would often get criticised for not scoring goals or breaking people's legs whilst representing the club. However, without players like Evans, you'd be lucky to see the creative wonderment of wizards such as Dak. So with that, I would grade the Northern Ireland international Corey Evans a modest B for his efforts this season. So let's take a look now at Corey Evans' uh, statistics for the season as a whole. Uh, so his, Corey Evans was involved in 45 matches in all competitions for Blackburn Rovers this season, scoring one goal, creating one assist. He actually played in 63% of all possible first team action that he was uh, fit and available for. Um, he was substituted off 15 times and brought on 7 times and he picked up 6 yellow cards for his efforts. As for League One only, Curry Evans was involved in 32 matches, winning 21 of those, uh, drawing 6 and losing 5. No goals in the league, so I think that league, that his goal was in the League Cup. He actually was played in 2,205 minutes for Blackburn Rovers this season. Uh, his last 5 games looked like this. 3 wins, a draw and a defeat which was that matchup against Charlton. He's actually suffered one defeat in the previous 14 games. Uh, he went 32 games without scoring a goal. He actually played in 66, or 66 or 66% of all the matches that Corey Evans played in League One resulted in a win. As for his uh, winning streak, he was on a five game winning streak for Rovers. He was involved in the uh, two game a spell without a win, which was up against Gillingham and Bristol Rovers. He also was on that two-game losing streak at the start of the season between Southend and Doncaster. But he also went on a 12-game unbeaten run with Rovers this season. And here is just a quick overview of his performances in a blue and white or red and black jersey this season. Well, that's your lot, folks. If you've enjoyed this review, give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. And also, you can join me right back here tomorrow for yet another 2017-2018 individual Blackburn Rovers player review.